What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in like so long. Um, I've just been so busy with work and with traveling, but I recently have just like decided that I really want to find consistency in some of my goals in my personal life. So I've decided, and I'm, I'm making this promise to myself, that I'm gonna post on YouTube and work out every day for the next um, 30 days. I'm gonna hold myself to it. Hopefully you guys can hold me accountable. Um, I probably won't post my whole workout. I probably won't post my entire day. Day-to-day -day content may be different. Um, some days it might be a trial haul, some days it might be a vlog, some days it just might be just like a little quick update on my day, but I want to be, I want to get in the habit of just finding some sort of consistency and rhythm in my personal life. Um, so right now, as y'all can see, well, I guess you really can't see, but like I'm in a really cute little townhouse right now. I just fed my dog. He's eating his um, dinner right now. And I'm actually in Dallas, Texas for work right now. So without getting into too much detail about what I do, I basically travel um, and like work different projects. I'm basically in a new, a different city every month. So Dallas, Texas is the current project. I Today is actually my last day. So tomorrow I'm gonna head back home to Houston. And it looks like, it looks like maybe I'll be able to be in Houston for a few weeks before my next project starts, but we'll see, fingers crossed, because work loves to keep me busy. So um, anyway, I just got home. It's like, I don't know, 8.48 p.m. I am going to, you know what? See, this is my issue with working on the evening. I want to work out, like, but right after I get home from work, I want to shower. Like, I just feel like I need to shower. And I don't even really, my job is not extremely, like, I'm not doing a lot of physical stuff. I'm not sweating. Like I didn't get dirty, but I just feel like as soon as I get back, I need to uh, work out. I mean, I need to shower and then work out. But then it's like, but then also after I work out, I feel like I need to shower. So it just doesn't make sense. Um, but right now I'm just, I just really feel like I need to get in like relaxation mode. So I, I think this may be like totally back from the totally out of order, but I think I'm going to take a shower. And then, I mean, this is my, I've been working out the past few days, I won't lie. Like I've been going on runs, I've been trying to do stuff, but I just wanna get consistency. So my workout tonight just might be like a little bit, like I might do some stretching, I might, I'll might i do like 100 abs. I'm gonna do something that doesn't like make me crazy sweat, but still engages my core. Um, I have a trip planned in a few weeks to Puerto Rico and I just like really wanna feel good when I'm on that trip. Um, so I, um, I just wanna get, I just wanna, you know, do do things that are gonna make me feel active and make me feel good about myself so yeah so i'm gonna try the 30 day, 30 day challenge of posting so hopefully you guys can hold me accountable hopefully i can hold myself accountable but i do want to show you guys just how cute this little townhouse is that i'm staying in it's three stories um so on the first floor there's like you know there's the garage and you come in through the garage door there's a bedroom downstairs, there's a bath, there's a half bath downstairs. Well, I guess it's kind of a full bath. Um, and then there's another bedroom. And then on the opposite side from where the garage door is, there's the front door. Um, this house doesn't have a yard, but there's like plenty of walking space. And then out this window, it's dark outside, so I'm not gonna open the door, but there's a balcony out there. This is the second floor. Um, and then just from this view, you can see like the kitchen and all that really, really cute stuff. This Airbnb is really cute. I've actually been staying in here for about two weeks. Um, so I'm kind of sad to leave it and go back. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sad by any means to go back home. I love being home, but this place has just been really cute. So going upstairs to the second floor, I kind of get scared like being by myself. I mean, my dog's here and my dog's also like 80 pound pit bull. So he kind of keeps me feeling safe. Here he comes. He heard me go upstairs. I hear his little feet pattern, but this is the upstairs. Um, never mind, like the mess, the clothes. Uh, like I said, I'm about to go back, and um, this is the bathroom, which I've also made a mess. I feel like I'm living like I'm on vacation, but super nice shower, like you know, bathroom. And then I really love this. Look how big this closet is. Like I can't imagine. Like living and having like all of this huge closet space is super, super nice at home. We have a pretty small closet and I share it with my partner. So there's not a ton of room. Um, 
But yeah, there's also a balcony on this floor. And earlier today, I was kind of keeping the door open. It's this door right here. I was keeping the door open because my dog was like literally just going in and out, enjoying the balcony. I'll open this one for you guys so you can see because I didn't open it on the other floor. But there's like a little seating area and then this little like, there's like a little common area. There was, there's some other townhomes, but it's a super, super cute community. See, look, this is why I need to work out because you see how out of breath I am. I'm literally just walking. I'm fucking out of breath. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of take a shower and then do some light exercise today. But at least do something, get active, um, other than just working. And also, I have recently developed a Red Bull addiction. I love Red Bull. Like, I feel like I can't live a day without Red Bull. And I just started drinking the one that's sugar-free, so hopefully that's going to be a little bit better for me in the long haul. I don't know what it is. I just feel so exhausted and drained, and I feel like unless I drink an energy drink, like, I feel exhausted by the day. Uh... And then also, just like update, like I just took my braids out like two days ago, my natural hair is out, and I am not really a fan of my natural hair. It's like shoulder length, but it just requires too much effort to like look full and curly and pretty. So I just am kind of like over my hair at this point. Um, so I don't know what I wanna do. I think that I would like to go get it straightened and just see what the length is straightened, maybe get it even cut because my hair is so like, I just randomly will cut my hair so it's so choppy and like uneven and I just maybe if I get it done get it straightened and I don't know just get in a good routine that's what I said I just need a good hair routine like revive my curls because I just like hey what's the point of having natural hair and like not perming it and all that stuff if you're just gonna keep it in a bun all the time or keep it in braids which is what I do so anyway I have rambled enough I am ready to take a shower so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys in a minute all right, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I wanted to show you guys my like face routine. And honestly, like it's very simple. Like I don't really have, I've really had good skin knock on wood since like teenage years. Like after I went through the normal hormonal like puberty acne, I've had really good skin except for during COVID. Um, I got really bad, um, what do they call it? Mask me from, and it was like all on my chin. But other than that, I have a pretty good skin, pretty good skin. So I don't, really try new products because I don't want to like disrupt what my skin has going but I will show you what I use so I wash my face in the shower I just usually keep my face washed in the shower and I use Cetaphil the daily like facial cleanser not the gentle one because I feel like it doesn't work as well just the regular one and then for toner I used to use Seabreeze because that's what my boyfriend uses um and I like it if I have it I'll use it it's not a big deal but I've been really liking the Neutrogena Clear Pore. I actually, and I said I don't try new products. I only tried this because I went to two different stores and they were out of Seabreeze and I was like, okay, I need toner. So I'll just go to this. And this has just like basically been the same as Seabreeze on my skin. So this is what I use. I just use like a, so I'm in the Airbnb. So they have these little cotton pad things. Usually at home, I just use like a cotton ball. And I try not to do too much. I pour too much on there. And then... You know, hopefully, like, I've washed my face well, and so there's not a lot of, um, like, not a lot of residue, but I feel like the toner really, like, draws it out of your skin, so sometimes, like, I'm surprised by it. Whew. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes, I got some in my eye. Sometimes this shit burns, like, right now, sometimes this shit burns, y'all. I don't know why sometimes it burns and sometimes it doesn't. Today is a little, it's a little stinging, um, but gross it's like it's not that bad and um, then I usually use the other side to like wipe my chest because here and there like I'll get I will say even though I don't get breakouts on my face for some reason like the last year I've started to get like some breakouts in the back of my shoulders um right now it's pretty it's fine but like I just always kind of wipe toner on my shoulders and moisturize my shoulders just in case and then I really like the ordinary brand because again like my skin doesn't need a lot so I don't really find the need to buy expensive products to maintain my skin like this is my skin, obviously, like, I don't have any makeup on, I don't have anything on besides the toner I just put on my face. And remember I was saying I do have dark marks, well, I have dark marks from the mask me, it's here. I'm like, even that is like going away. Um, but I use the Ordinary brand, so I use this, it's the High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish formula, um, just to kind of like get rid of any sort of dark marks um, and smooth out my skin, even though again, my skin's like pretty good. 
Um, and then I used this, this one. It's another product by The Ordinary. Um, I like literally don't even want to try and save what is in here, but it said that it's really good for helping with like dark marks. So I actually specifically use this for the areas where I had that mask me. And I just use it literally on like the lower half of my face right here to just try and get rid of that. And then anything like I have over, I'll just kind of push, put on the rest of my face. Um, and then for a moisturizer, I use the Ordinary Moisturizer. This one's like almost empty, but I did just buy a new one. So as soon as I squeeze what's left out of here, I will start using my new one. And then I live in Texas, so you know, even though I travel a lot, but in Texas, the heat is like insane. Um, so I always try and like wear some sort of SPF or something to protect my face. So my phone is sitting on it, but during on the uh, days or in the mornings, I use this Fenty Skin. It's like a SPF moisturizer, um, but it's a little bit thick. So I only really use it again, like in, in the daytime just to protect my skin. And then um, I always like to use like a, a lip mask or lip oil and i use this like this was recommended to me by one of my um co-workers um apparently it's like a popular brand i don't know but it works well like when i'm at home like you know when you live with a guy you're just like what do y'all what do y'all use my boyfriend just puts vaseline on his lips so sometimes i'll do the same thing and it literally does the same thing to my in my opinion it makes my lips feel the same but it's fancy it's cute whatever it's easy to travel with and then i have a lip oil and it's LA Girl. I think I got this from Ulta for like a few dollars. Nothing fancy. It's not like a super duper, like, I don't think well-known brand. And then I just put some lip oil on my lips. And I'm literally like, after this, I'm good to go. Um, and then whenever I'm like moisturizing myself, I use... Oh, I use Righteous Body Butter. And it's like, literally this one's almost done. So when I get home, I will go buy another one. But it smells so good. It smells so good and then i like to use a body oil too and this is my favorite body oil um if y'all know like the bum bum cream the bum bum whatever that smells so good that people wear i think it's like janeiro yeah janeiro brand it smells so good um it's also supposed to like firm your stomach and your thighs or whatever um but this this little thing that i went through probably in like two three weeks is like 40 bucks so this is when i'm feeling fancy this is you know date night when i feel like smelling real good feeling real oily but on a day-to-day -day basis, um, after I put my lotion on, I just use like the Mr. Teal's. Um, it's a moisturizing oil. I think you can use it in the bath too, um, but it's, it's really good on my skin as well. But anyway, I'm not gonna show you guys me moisturizing because I gotta take off my towel, um, but I'll see you on a second. Oh, and then also my favorite perfume, and I'm only showing you this at nighttime because it's so good and such a warm fragrance that I spray it on myself at night. Um, it's the Replica. And Replica has all these certain perfumes that kind of like imitate certain smells. And this one is by the, by the fireplace. This, I'm not gonna lie, this is expensive. This little bottle, I think was like 60 bucks. So like at night, I just spray like one spray on myself, but cause I just love the smell. Um, and I wear perfume for me, like not really for other people. I just like to smell good. Um, but then my other favorite daytime like fragrance is the YSL Black Opium. And this is a trap cause I travel so much again. So I always, you know, make sure I have a travel size bottle because I don't always check bags when I travel. Um, so this is my my normal, my light, very, you know, girly smelling perfume. This one is more like of a sexy evening type of scent. Um, but anyways, I've talked around good enough. I will see y'all in a minute so y'all can watch me do a little bit of workout abs before bed. Okay, ignore the ratchet ass um, <laughs> nighttime outfit. This is my last like little pajama stuff for my trip everything else has been warned on my cute pajama sets but anyway i'm on the floor because i'm gonna do some abs but before i do that i want to ask if anybody is watching ultimatum because today i finally caught up to i no, I, I finished it i forgot all the episodes have been released i finished it and i do want to say it was an entertaining season um fuck roxanne she literally is a villain and they tried to paint her at first they were like i don't know she was doing some stuff that i they, they i thought was kind of sketchy but then they kind of like tried to redeem her character um even though i know it's a show I, I just like she is a character like she is a villain that's just like what it is and they made me hate alex at first but now i respect alex i like alex i do think that antonio is roxanne's whipping boy if y'all heard that comment 
Um, but yeah, I do a, um, me and my partner do like a little review. Uh, well, we do a podcast and we decided to review the ultimatum. So if you want to see our thoughts and opinions on that, I will link our channel below. It's called the Go Deeper Podcast. Um, I did see there's going to be a new season of not too hot to handle what's the other love show love island no there's some netflix original reality show that's getting a renewal and we're going to review that why can't i like blanking on what it is they have so many reality shows now at this point um but yeah we'll review that so follow that channel but let's do some ads i know this is not like a real workout like my goal really is to do like at least 30 minutes of high intensity activity it's day one so i'm just gonna hold myself to some sort of movement so we're gonna do a hundred abs oh my gosh pray for me my abs are like so freaking weak i have such a weak core because i just haven't been consistent in my workouts and it's like fucks with my back like i feel like my core is so weak that i have like just developed like a very sensitive back so we gotta get back in shape because i'm only 28 so like i can't be having back problems so we're gonna shake the core so Okay, 100 abs are done. It's like, it's the shortest workout ever. Like I just said 100 abs probably in what, like a few minutes. And it's like, I don't know, I feel out of breath. I feel the, the core like tighten. But I'm like, obviously I need to do more than five minutes of exercise a day. And I, I'm gonna start working out in the mornings because I feel like in the evenings, I'm just like, again, I wanna shower. I'm just less motivated to do anything like super intense. Um, so we are going to wake up in the morning. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. I'm gonna try and be up way before that because I have to be checked out of the Airbnb by 11 a.m. So I need to like wake up, work out, walk the dog, pack, and like be ready to go right after my meeting because as soon as the meeting ends, like I have to be checked out. So, um, oh, I wanted to show you guys since you guys can see, I have been trying to get back into reading for fun. Um, I think like I used to love to read, like I read. When I was younger, I read the Twilight series, I read the 50 Stage series, I read the Gossip Girl series. Like I used to love to read, like, but I think as you get older and like here in college and you're, they force you to read and especially like textbooks and stuff, it took the joy out of reading for me. So um, last month I read uh, The Silent Patient and it was that was such a good book with like a lot of good twists. This month I picked up um, A Flicker in the Dark and as you can see by my bookmark I have not started this yet but my plan is to at least read 10 pages a day but my thing is like I'm an all or nothing girl like either I don't read anything all day or I sit and read 100 pages like in a day so I just like need to get a good in between of being consistent and then also because you guys can kind of see like my Whataburger cup because I've been being bad no more fast food I'm not doing fast food the only exception I'm going to make for eating out is sushi because I love sushi but I'm going to tell you it's super hard to eat healthy when you have like a life on the road because it's like I'm not it's not my kitchen like I don't really go grocery shopping when I'm traveling like that because like it, right now I'm in the Airbnb because this project is not far from home and I was able to drive so I was able to bring my dog so I like he's just a big dog and like he just doesn't do well with other people so I didn't feel comfortable getting a hotel which is why we're in the Airbnb um, but normally when I travel I, like solo when my dog's at home with my partner I stay in a hotel so look I don't even have a kitchen to cook so like what am I cooking so I try to make good choices and eat things like kava or salada but like obviously like it's late night sometimes and I'm just like I'm just gonna get something quick um like some nights I work until like 11 p.m I try not to do that anymore because it's just like not necessary but like I just crave food late nights and I feel like it's my comfort like anybody else like that you just like want to sit in bed and eat eat like even if I'm not hungry when I get in bed if I don't immediately fall asleep I'm like I want some chips like I want something comforting while I'm in the bed I don't know and then also I think this is hilarious I have a knife 
because again like i just i'm in this airbnb with just you know my dog and if someone like tried to fuck with me like at least i have a knife so i just like sleep with it on the nightstand uh, i kind of like try and tuck it away so like if someone maybe i'm just thinking too crazy um but like if someone broke in let me not even say let me not even speak these into existence i have a knife i'm prepared just in case um and then oh y'all my tattoos i'm just like rambling but look at my two tattoos on my arm like i they look cute but like they need to just be cohesive so i'm thinking about getting a sleeve and i want to get a sleeve before my birthday which is in october so i'm kind of already pushing it um but like i just can't think of an idea to like bring everything together because one tattoo is a scorpion because i'm a scorpio obviously and then one i'm obsessed with moon so it's like a moon tattoo with flowers and kind of like a dream catcher um but i love moons i'm like obsessed with like the vibes of the moon so i want some sort of moon like a lot of moons on my arm and like different i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i've been like looking on pinterest for inspiration but nothing's like really popping out to me and i'm not someone who's just gonna get like i realize the permanence of tattoos so i want something that i love um on my arm but anyway we'll see this this was supposed to be like a quick day one vlog but it's turned into rambling so thank you guys for tuning in i'm gonna be posting i'm gonna say it i'm gonna do it posting every day for the next 30 days so you look out for that please anyway okay good night love you guys